What's up guys and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. We've got episode 2, chapter 1, Bounty Hunter Pursuit Free Play for you today. And this one is a little bit of a doozy. We have to do quite a bit of jumping around back and forth and there's quite the stud hunt in this one too. However, it will give us the stud magnet red brick which we will be able to purchase and that'll make our journeys much easier in future events. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and recommend that you have yourself a TIE Fighter available and already purchased. If you are a little confused on how to do that, check out our preparing for free play video. That should help you out and uh, show you where to buy them, how much they cost and all that stuff. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well. And when you've got your TIE Fighter ready to rock, let's go ahead and accept the terms here just by pressing X. Uh, and uh, don't forget, we do have quick links down below in the video description. All right, so mini kit one, pretty easy stuff here. We're actually gonna head over to the back left side of right from where we start. And there's actually gonna be the first of two TIE Fighter doors in this level. Now we're gonna take this one on now and swoop in there and grab that mini kit, thank you very much. And now we're gonna double back all the way to the beginning of the level, well, sort of. Essentially, there are five turrets that are shooting at you along this first section here. I had a little bit of a funny angle the first couple of passes there, but I got them on the third try. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and take all five of them out. Now, there are some other things that we will come back and get here in a second. And the mini kit orders, uh, they do get a little out of order here in a minute. And I'll, I'll go into more detail in a second. But essentially, we want all five of the turrets in the first area. The fifth one is actually right on the tunnel exit to get out of here. We don't want to take that though. We want to go ahead and take out all five of those turrets and then head back to the beginning. Watch out for that building though. It's uh, it's big and it'll take you down. All right, now you guys are probably wondering why are you going back and forth? Well, because there's so many different collectibles here that they kind of overlapped each other and you guys know I hate having them split up. It just makes it so much easier to have them all in order. So. That being said, we are jumping ahead to mini kit number six. There are 10 of these giant colorful lanterns scattered throughout the first and the final area. So we gotta grab all six of the first ones here in the first area, and then we'll wait and grab the final ones in the final area, which is why we don't count it until we get all 10 of them, hence why it's mini kit number six. We get a few other mini kits in between now and those other four lanterns so hopefully that makes sense now we got the first one that was actually the one we showed right at the beginning there now the second one is actually kind of hidden behind a green light that matches the color of the lantern so it's a little bit tricky to find but we got you covered there the third one is going to be on the right hand side just a little bit beyond where number two was the fourth one is actually on the left side of the big building that I went head first into and exploded on. You can see I took it out in the top left corner there. And of course, the fifth one is uh, we got to follow the signs around and head towards that tunnel to get out of here again. And it's right on the left as soon as we come around that final turn. You can see, again, a funny angle. So I came and swooped around and snagged it up. And the final one is actually on the right-hand side right before the exit. To, uh, to section two. Now next up, we're actually gonna need a whole bunch of proton torpedoes. And it just so happens that there's one right here. There's a dispenser. Now there, these dispensers fly around kind of randomly. I don't know if there is any specific areas to grab them. Where you find them may be a little different than where I found them. Hopefully they're easy though. You will need to find two of them as that giant building that I slammed into actually has five antennas up on top and we need to take them all down and there's just no way to shoot your pew pews up there. So, and look at that, I got super lucky. To be honest with you, I had to play this level again because uh, I ended up getting to the end without the true Jedi, which is another factor that I'm gonna touch on before we head into the second area. But uh, I looked all over for that second dispenser in my first run, and I could not find one anywhere. It took me like five minutes. So it was really lucky, but also very cool that I ended up getting that second dispenser right there where it was. So, all right, studage now. There is not a lot of studs available in this area, and there's lots of things that can take you out and, and basically make you lose studs. So I do recommend we farm studs, but we'll wait a minute to do that. Now, hey, before we head into the tunnel, there is this crazy traffic light here. There's actually four spots that we need to hit and make them green. 
Now, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but uh, we got a new subscriber on the main channel, and my secondary computer happens to be on, and the volume was up, and it shouted out the old new sub notification sound, which is the oh yeah, which was pretty funny to me because uh, we got that fourth side, which is kind of a funny angle right as it happens. So anyways, uh, I got a good laugh out of that. I apologize if it bothered anybody, but uh, anyways, uh, moving right along. So we're in the second section. This area, or this level actually has four sections, and we are in the second one. And uh, you can see there's these red and gray vents on the ground, as well as these weird kind of grid line stuffs with little lights. We got to hover over those lights, but we got to shoot those gray and red vents. Now, as it turns out, there are, I believe, five of those vents in this area. And there's one that's kind of tricky. In fact, it's hiding right there behind the force field. It's almost impossible to see. So I recommend just shooting until you get it. And once you get all of them, I believe, again, I think there was five of them in this area. Uh, once you get all five of them, you should find yourself a mini kit. All right, now those ones you got to hover over, those, once you get both of them in this area, it'll give you a proton torpedo dispenser. Now, uh, luckily for us, it just keeps on uh, dispensing them so we don't have to worry about missing or anything like that. But there are six total kind of uh, battery packs, generators, antennas, whatever you want to call them, that need to be dealt with. And uh, once we get all six of them gone, we will go ahead and see that force field disappear as well. Now, I mentioned farming studs at a later time. Now, depending on if you have the 2X red brick on or not, you should if you've been following along with our series. Uh, but if you don't, uh, it's going to be way hard to get that true Jedi. Uh, and as you can see, there are lots of like signs and floating objects that you can take out and get a handful of studs, but they're very minimal in all situations. Um, oh, look at this. We're returning back to mini kit number six. In fact, I think we're even maybe in the right order almost. Uh, yeah, we are. So there are a couple of lanterns. One is just the beginning off to the left-hand side. There is a second one off to the right-hand side. And then as we advance a little bit further, also on the right is another one. And the final one is just to the left of the exit on out of here. All right, so booyah kashow. Make sure you get that mini kit before you take off and head back towards the beginning. Now, uh, okay, again, we are clustering these together so that they're not scattered and crazy quick links and really confusing for you guys. But we do have to return back towards the beginning. You might have noticed these three triangular-like signs floating here with red on them. That's right, they've got red on them. We're going to go ahead and shoot them until they are all green. That's right, green. Go green! Uh, once we get them all, booyaka show, we get another mini kit. All right. Next up, we've got ourselves the red brick. We didn't want to forget that before heading out of here. And if I'm being totally honest, to do this, it is kind of tricky, and it cost me a bunch of time and a bunch of attempts to get this. So as we head to the right from where we spawned in this area, or I, I guess arrived in this area, there are a building with a series of nine antennas on top. Now, I know I just did that in one run, but it actually took me about 20 attempts to get it. Now, partially because I had those turrets blasting me in the back, and I didn't want to get those yet because there is another set of five turrets. But once you get all nine of those antennae all removed, we'll go ahead and see this red balloon float up, and it is going to deliver, you guessed it, the red brick. Go ahead and shoot it out from the bottom, and it should give you the stud magnet red brick available for purchase now. Now, on the right-hand side, there was also not only a turret, but inside that door that's accessible only via a TIE Fighter. We're going to go ahead and get inside there and collect another mini kit. Now, we are starting to get into Stud Farmville here. We are over halfway through the level. We basically have a couple more items to swoop up, and then we are done. And, that being said, we wanted to make sure we got that stud requirement here. So... Uh, we're going to keep on keeping on and basically take out everything in our path as well as, of course, the turrets. There are five of those in this area, and we're going to make sure we grab all five of those while pilfering these studs along the way. Now, the, the, the turrets are actually pretty hard to miss. Basically, anytime there's somebody shooting at you, make sure you take it down. Now, the tunnel is actually kind of the way out of here, and there are two more turrets in the tunnel, as well as more studdage, more signs and things like that. But we are not confident that we are going to get that true Jedi just yet, and there's still a handful of things floating around. Now, I want to go ahead and express, too, 
this game does allow you to go backwards through this level. So you should be able to fly from where we kind of spawned or arrived in this area and go backwards into, you guessed it, where we just came from. And it should allow you to go back a little bit further if you really need to. But I don't think you'll need it as long as you haven't died a ton of times. Now, I'm the king of dying in this game. So as long as you didn't die as many times as I did, or more, I should say, you should be okay. Now, you got to go a couple of turns back and forth before you get to the fourth turret, but it is in there, I promise. And the fifth and final one is actually right on the exit. It should drop right in front of you. It's almost impossible to miss. Now, I know I mentioned that there was only four areas, and technically this would be the fourth. Um, and there is kind of a little section where we have like a mini boss battle, but uh, I, di I didn't really count that as an area because it just kind of happens, and, and there's not a lot you can do, but just get your pew, pew, pew. All right. This is the final circuit board area and also where the final mini kit is going to be for us. Uh, also, where we rounded up True Jedi. Now, this time is a little different than last time as there are shooters on the top and bottom of the area. So I recommend hitting that button as fast as you can and getting your pew, 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 pew on. Now, there are some of these grid lines on the bottom here where we have to fly over the little lights that light up the green lines that all power up that center. I guess it's some sort of a processor or something. But there's also red and gray vents. We'll go ahead and take all those vents out and you should get that final mini kit. Now I know I didn't do an exquisite job of showing where all of those actually were. However, they're there, I promise you. Apparently Gary and the guide got marked down that there are 13 vents. Woo, it says three on the left, four in the middle, three on the right, and two in the very back and a one where you first entered the force field. I was gonna say, that. did that happen? Uh -huh. <laughs> and speaking of Gary, shout out to Gary for putting together an amazing achievement guide that can be found at happythumbsgaming.com. Has all sorts of info for this game, including the mini kit info and the blue mini kits too. Like, let's say you're way ahead of me and you wanna just get them blue mini kits and be done with this game. We've got locations for all of those too at the bottom of our guide. So, oh to the yeah, thanks to Gary for doing that. And uh, we are basically almost out of here. We got a couple more of these Jennies that we got take down and we are above and beyond the true jedi fashion so we are good to go there too and last but not least all we're gonna have to do is take out the runner that's right i believe it's it's jenga and the jenga fat taking off right now I, I think i got that right and he's gone ghost uh, except for not quite we're gonna shoot him and take him down he's got a bunch of hearts and all i can recommend is just uh you know Trying to focus on him. There's lots of other flying objects. But you can see he's the green one streaking back and forth. And once you get all that hearts depleted, that's right, depleted that meter, we'll go ahead and take off into the final totals. Woo to the who! Stud magnet for both me and you! Oh, we got that true Jedi too. I, I, I won't lie, I was a little worried on my second run because I didn't get it on my first time. We have over 1.25 million studs now. Uh, we're gonna split. We're gonna blow a few of those though. We're gonna buy that red brick for the stud magnet once we start that next level. So before starting chapter two of episode two, be looking for that. And oh to the yeah, we'll go ahead and stack up all of those mini kits, make another cool ship, and of course, rake in a whole bunch of more bluesies. And we got a couple of gold bricks, one for getting the true Jedi and one for the mini kits. And hey, don't forget to click that like button, not only here, but on that Facebook as well, because we do have that weekly giveaway where we give away stickers, Lego poly bags, and much, much more. And uh, if you don't like winning stuff, I understand why you wouldn't come by. But if you do, you might give us a try. Anyways, we got links down below in the video description. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available as well. As for me, that's that's going to do it and wrap up Lego Star Wars, the Complete Saga Episode 2, Chapter 1, Bounty Hunter Pursuit. Until next time. See ya.